I feel like I'm just like staring at this like it's like gonna gonna attack me. Yeah, you gotta keep your eyes on the door. <laughs> Welcome back to the Western Wisconsin Whiskey Emporium for ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dan, that's Eddie, and we have joining us today our friend Brandon. Brandon is here because he purchased this fine bottle of bottom shelf whiskey known as Kentucky Deluxe. Kentucky Deluxe. Yeah. (laughs) This is not going to make sense to a lot of people except for Brandon and I because this is a bit of like a shitty unicorn. Yeah. Like, it's it's this garbage unicorn bottle for us because, like, years ago, early YouTube days, I think you found the video of this guy drinking. Out of nowhere in some bottomless hole of YouTube. Right. Because, like, back then, YouTube, it wasn't, like, algorithm driven. I feel like you just opened YouTube and whatever the most recent thing that was posted was, was there. So you just saw the weirdest people. I'm still subscribed to a lot of them. But this guy, what was it called? Like Big Dan's coming back to the bird or something like that? Like that? Yeah. He was coming home and he was saluting all his friends with Kentucky Deluxe <laughs> blended whiskey. So ever since then, I mean, that's got to be at least 10 years ago. That was, yeah, definitely at least 10 or 12. We've been like looking for this bottle. And when Eddie and I started doing the show here, Brandon went out of his way to find it, order it, pay way too much for it. What did you pay on this? What's the uh, MSRP? I think after shipping and tax, it was roughly around $54. Yeah, and I think if you found it on a shelf, it's like nine. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. There is a very distinct, uh, like, you do not need to do that for us. And I said, fuck that, and I shipped it anyway. Yeah, he's he's going like BTAC mentality of like, I'm paying secondary market price for Kentucky Deluxe. <laughs> I've never seen it. No, they don't sell it around us. I, I think this is a this is a regional bottom shelfer. Nice, okay. It's made by Heaven Hill, apparently. When you said you had bought it and shipped it to us, I looked it up to like find reviews of it. And people were like, this tastes like college. This tastes like drinking at 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> this is something we definitely would have drank at the time that we saw the video. Yeah. I think that's why we got so excited. This is definitely something that, like, I would have woken up in the morning, grabbed the closest can that it was kind of full, and then found that it was a boiler maker with this Milwaukee's Best and a couple cigarette butts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm excited now. I feel like our decor is sorely lacking for this occasion. Hold on a second here. <laughs> Just litter this table with... <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. There it is. Just knock them over and... <laughs> yeah. This. All right, that works. That works. I think if I was hung over right now and take a drink of this, I'd probably fill my mouth with vomit and then have to swallow it again. <laughs> Just don't want to waste. It. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I made like ten bucks in tips washing dishes at the freight house. You know, I I can't waste any whiskey. No. <laughs> now, obviously, this doesn't have a poppable bottle top. No, it it has like a soda bottle cap. We yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Brandon, you you bought this thing. You do the honors man whatever you want to say whatever you want to do this is your time to shine i think i'm just gonna go like this oh jeez. <laughs> pause for crack that was like a mini bottle pop yeah yeah i will say i i was shocked when i opened the box when this arrived and it was a glass bottle yeah i was expecting plastic bottle whiskey and uh this is glass. I feel like Heaven Hill brings it, you know, I mean, even in their garbage department. Here we are. Yeah. If you want to, we, we, we made it this far. We've arrived. <laughs> We're going there. You want some? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> top her off. Kind of, yeah. What kind of question is that? We've been you, just, you just keep her going, I <laughs> guess. Yeah. <laughs> Take it up. It's yeah. Like Parmesan right. cheese yeah. at Olive Garden, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fancy swirling over here. I don't know about you. <laughs> oh, I am. There, there's a swirl of happening. I kind of feel like what was what's the point in having just a sip, you know? Right. Yeah. This is generally probably consumed in shots and despair. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no happiness. <laughs> no, no. It's not. A, it's never a good occasion. <laughs> this is probably the happiest anybody's ever been consuming this alcohol. <laughs> The label is very simple, but I kind of like it in that way. That it's just, 
It's bare bones. This looks like like grandpa whiskey or something, you know? This looks like if I drank this entire liter, this could end up tattooed on like my... <laughs> okay, well, I mean, what are we smelling here? Yeah, let's get in on the nose, I suppose. Not much. Yeah, really not a lot of uh, aroma Kinda coming off of it. A little well, isopropyl. Like I, randomly, I'm smelling, yeah. I was going to say parchment. Paper factory. Like, you mean like the paper you put underneath like cookies and stuff when you make it? Ma Parchment maybe, paper? I don't know. Like, I'm talking like... Bulk paper? Yeah, we're talking like... Reams Dunder, of paper. Dunder Mifflin. Reams of paper. <laughs> yeah. Chemically, oh, like yeah. you were saying, that isopropyl, that, you know, chemistry class kind of smell. <laughs> it's not that bold, though. You know, it's like faint. That's why yeah. I was saying like there's yeah. some, some reams of paper vibe going on as well. You know, like... Yeah, almost the um, like the glue that holds a ream of paper, like the envelope sticky. There's like thing. an office smell. Yes, yeah. you know. Yeah, <laughs> which which works great because you could hide this in your desk drawer. <laughs> <laughs> Just pour it in your commuter mug and get after it. Yeah, <laughs> this is the office whiskey. Yeah. Well, the the crown suggests royalty. Too, yeah, so. deluxe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we just gotta dive in and. I got the water at the ready. I... Water at the ready. Let's clink them and drink them. Here we go. Properly. <laughs> Cheers. You know, I mean, it's it's smooth. I guess it is surprisingly smooth. I can't pin down the flavor yet. Actually, a lot of vanilla, but like almost artificial vanilla. That might be it. It kind of reminds me of the mini bottle of E and J vanilla that we had during the half-assed holiday special. Yeah, that might be it. Way thicker than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I was expecting this to kick my ass. Surprisingly, not bad, and not even in like a hey, we're shitting you right now, we're going to tell you it sucks at the end, <laughs> PBR whiskey. Kind of, like, really, it tastes artificially sweet. I get it. I get Dan from the Berg. Like, I, it all is coming, to, it's all coming together now. What I don't get about Dan from the Berg, though, if I could be honest, is this guy front and backed it with Coca-Cola when he drank it. He did. He yeah. had the little, like, you know, 375 flat flask bottle, and he had a can of Coke, and he would do a sip, pull, and then sip. And I think that's maybe why we thought this was going to be so brutal. I think so, yeah. Because it's really, it's like, wow, that's nothing. We like, really valued that guy's uh, opinion more than we really should have. What I'm getting is not a lot on the tip of my tongue at all. Maybe a little bit of a tingle, but no real flavor. Most of the flavor comes in on the middle, and it's kind of vanilla. Yeah. But on the back end, where you're usually getting oaky bitterness with bourbon... It's like a sawdusty, like almost plywood type of vibe. I just tasted sense. that, what you're saying, man. Yeah. Totally. If I knew it was whiskey and you handed it to me and I drank it, I would assume it was Canadian. Yeah. It has that, like, saccharine sweet, fake sweetness, fake vanilla kind of thing. It almost tastes kind of like burnt, too. I'm not getting burnt yet. Like, let me see. Let me see. It almost tastes like burnt toast smells a little bit. Yeah. Like, it's not your usual barrel char flavor. It's more like a, you burnt aroma pizza. <laughs> yeah, I like Which that. I'm sure happens. That's, <laughs> yeah. yeah. While you're drinking Kentucky yeah, Deluxe. Yeah. yeah, and I wouldn't even go Roma. You're going <laughs> orbs. Oh, no. Oh, man. Romas were like six for ten. I mean, Isn't that, that was... Like, in, that t in that time period. Yeah, yeah we, were, we were living on, you know, the Roma Aroma was probably <laughs> <laughs> in all of our houses. Roma, Roma okay. Supremes, ramen noodles, and Kraft Mac yeah. and cheese. As we were just talking and, like, I exhaled, I got that, like, old college -y, like, exhale of, like, shitty whiskey, if that <laughs> makes sense. Like, you know what I'm talking about. It, it, That's the neutral grain alcohol coming out. I feel like maybe we got to... Uh... Oh, you want to do some mixers? Some or we do, like, the Coke front and backs. Ooh. Is that how the, they do it in the Berg? This one's for all my homies in the Berg. And then the end of the video was just him drinking Kentucky Deluxe and, and listening to Mama, I'm Coming Home. Yeah. We will be singing that at, <laughs> when we finish this. Uh-oh. <laughs> Big Dan in the Berg knows what's up. I feel like I gotta go big on this, you know. Like which I'm uh, big on which one? Like, take it down. Oh, you know. I feel like the coke front and back is is like a fool's errand. I don't think it really benefits you. I don't know what he was doing. 
He wasn't doing anything, man. He, <laughs> he was, was in the room. By himself. himself. Ozzy. Yeah. I think the video would still be online if it were not for him just listening to Ozzy at full blast in his bedroom. It probably got copyright striked, I think. I wish Ozzy would have seen the video for what it was. I feel like most of the time this is getting just mixed. So I'm going to... You're going to go full dump. I'll join you on For that. the bird? For the bird. Uh, I don't have much left, so do I need to add some? Oh, you got enough there. We're going back to 2006. Okay. Clank them and drink them. Here we go. That's for my boys in the bird. See, that's worse. No, I don't like that. I, I would yeah, rather drink. Disgusting. I would I rather like... just drink this. With the Coke, that shit sucks. The Coke brings out all the worst parts of it. Yeah. yeah. No. no, there's like coconut or something. I think um, I'm feeling kind of deluxe kind of kicking in a little bit yeah a little bit a little more yeah top her off for you there yeah bud? whatever you whatever you gotta do have you been a bartender before you were i yeah oh yeah i've got like six or seven years of bartending experience look at this unfortunate like <laughs> we've drank so much like, of this. <laughs> this is but kinda... i feel like this is what happens with whiskey like this is it's like so non-existent that it just goes down you don't buy this and figure you're gonna have some the next day yeah, maybe we should just leave it like this for the rest of the day. <laughs> just, just so you can see. Yeah, what would we be at? Uh, actually, we're at <laughs> depression. We're at don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, clink them and drink them again then. <laughs> Screw it. I'd be a liar if I said I didn't come here to get you guys wasted. I'm 50, not feeling overserved though. That's 50 the some dollars well spent. Let's get over, sir. <laughs> <laughs> When it comes to Fast and Furious, like slingshot, like tour bus, it's like mm, we don't. <laughs> Kentucky <laughs> Deluxe, the whiskey for nostalgia. I really gotta pee. I'm sorry, I don't. We can time out for a piss. We could. All right. This is all coming unglued. Yeah, the C. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I literally just yeah, put literally on Springsteen really vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kentucky Deluxe. Hey there, Mr. Christmas Man. Drinking all the Christmas hams. Do you prefer a draft or a can? I prefer a bottle. Yeah, we have to bring this back to some semblance of a review here, so I'll do that. I'll say adding. <laughs> I'll say so. I'll do that. So I'll, do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll I'll put us back on the on the rails here. Drinking this plain really not that bad. I I would say drinking it with Coke made it so much worse. I don't know why. It definitely But did. it just like brought out all the worst parts of the whiskey. Yeah. So I suppose we have to do the rating of would you buy it again? Not at the secondary price that you paid for it. Because this was just, as we said, our trash unicorn. This, yeah, this was a This had to come thing. through. But say we're traveling. We're in Kentucky. We go through. We see this on the shelf. I 100% buy another bottle of this. At $10. It, it's, bottle. Yeah. Yeah, ten bucks or less, even fifteen. I'm picking up another one if I see it on a shelf. Yeah, because we'll recreate these memories. Right, it's been a good night. I think this is a, a good a good times whiskey. It is a good times whiskey. I can agree with you. Good right. times. Good times. Good times. I don't think anyone's ever said, "Man, that's a really good times." Good times. Good times. Good times. Good times. Good Fun whiskey. Tums. I might feel differently about this tomorrow. We should all text each other in the morning. You should edit those texts <laughs> into the video. Yeah, let's yeah. hit this thing. Yeah, I think we gotta we gotta send it off. <laughs>